The Watson Fellowship is an opportunity for graduating seniors to undergo a year-long independent exploration in a topic of their choice. And it's only available to students from 40 small colleges and universities in the country, so it's, it's a unique opportunity to be able to apply for it. I feel very grateful to have had the opportunity to do that. My name is Zara Amini, and I'm a race and ethics studies major with an art studio minor. My name is Devin Reese. I'm from San Francisco, California. I'm part of the class of 2018. Uh, and, I'm a, and I'm a double major in biology and film and media studies. In my Watson year, uh, I will be going to um, Germany, the United Kingdom, and France uh, on a project called uh, Restless Endeavors, um, Diaspora Cultural Production. In each country, there's one research question I'm sort of gonna look into specifically, although the research questions are universal across all four countries. In Peru, how does care delivery occur in an urban setting in Arequipa? In New Zealand, how does a sense of community increase well-being? In Sri Lanka, I want to explore the juxtaposition of autonomy and safety. And in Japan, asking how do we deal with super-aging societies where there's too many seniors and not enough people to care for them. So um, I took a class with Professor Tarek El Sui called The Middle East and Cinema and Media. And in the class, we watched a film called A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night. So watching the film made me think about what other people are doing in terms of like their diasporic, exilic, or immigrant experiences. And what first got me interested in elder care was the book Being Mortal by uh, Atul Gawande, uh, who's a physician and a writer. We're at uh, Oddfellows Home right now. I started working here over the summer. I took my CNA class, Certified Nursing Assistant, at Walla Walla Community College. And I finished up in August, and I've been doing shifts on and off. This is the place where I really first got interested in elder care and really got to see it on the front lines. Part of the challenge of the Watson is that you don't know all the experiences you're going to have, and so I have this idea of what it's going to be like. Um, but I don't really know what's going to happen when I get there. So I think that's one of the things I'm most excited about is um, what experiences will arise, who I'll actually end up meeting, and how that will change me and the work that I do and my interests. And I'm excited to, to hear people's stories. 